Hey, Fish. Shabbat Shalom. 27th of October, 2018. And there's a couple of things I want to show you. But this this was uh, the other day. The same day that all the bombs were mailed. And, uh, you know, the Boston bomber thing. All that stuff. This happened on the same day. This church in Massachusetts incidentally happened to be right down the road from where I lived for years in Boston. Okay, it burnt to the ground and it was burnt by a lightning strike. Okay, a lightning strike. So I'm watching the video and it just becomes so clear to me the message behind this whole ordeal here. They, they lose their church, but the painting remains. One parishioner uh, is praising that it remained and it gives her hope that Christ is still with them. And that's wonderful. She realized, you know, you don't need the building. You don't need the painting either. You just need Jesus. And then you go through the, uh, the, the interviews a little bit more, okay, and they come across these other folks that their kids went to the preschool there. And, uh, you know, so their parishioners, they, they, their kids go to a Christian preschool there. And so, I'm listening and just you got to hear what these people say. Let me start it back here. Five years. Our kids are sad. My my middle son was in tears. One immediate concern: what to do about next week. The kids do a Halloween parade every year that they were getting ready for. To think of it not being in this church is tough. Yeah, but you know, they'll we'll, we'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. They they're concerned about the Halloween parade okay and I get it you know the kids and everything but do you get where I'm coming from here a lightning strike burns the church to the ground but preserves the image of Jesus okay now to me it's like hello you don't need this building you don't need this painting you folks need to get together with Jesus because it's obvious that these folks are so sadly oblivious to the reality of this world and what they're bringing their children up into it's just so sad but do you see the message here i mean that's kind of crazy and like i said it's in a town old town north of boston i know it well and so i'm checking out a little bit about the town wakefield uh it's a cool little town you know but it was originally part of reading and then this man, Wakefield, came in and built a big factory. And his name happened to be Cyrus Wakefield, okay, in 1856. And I realized that that was 162 years ago, which happens to be the exact amount of games that are played in a baseball season, which I want to get to this later because there are some really interesting things connected to this World Series. I'm trying to keep up with this stuff, but quite honestly, it's it's pretty hard. But this here, I wanted to share this uh, for obvious reasons. You don't need the church. You don't need the pictures and the images or the trinkets. You need Jesus in your heart. That's all. And then the fellowship, that just comes naturally. Brothers and sisters just gravitate toward each other. That's what I'm finding. So, seek Jesus first and foremost. That is the message. Okay? This is pretty interesting. I'm going to link this in just... It's very, very interesting to watch how people react and what they say. And you can dig deeper into this whole Wakefield thing if you want. But, you know, Cyrus... Uh, Cyrus the Great, Cyrus Wakefield, you understand? He also left a whole bunch of money to Harvard University. So it's an interesting thing. And the wake, the wake field, right? A wake is what? It's a ceremony associated with death, right? Death. Halloween. Wake. Field. Made me think of, uh, a cemetery field. So all I punched in the, the, uh, Start page was just a field cemetery wake and check out what I came up with. There's a place in New York called Potter's Field 
This is crazy how this stuff all connects, but I love sharing this stuff because it's really interesting. And in Potter's Field, if I can find this exact article I want to show you, uh, which I always seem to do this, don't I? It might be over here. Yeah, here it is. New York allows rare glimpse of its Potter's Field Cemetery. Check this out. It's even got the, the tombstone, the Potter's Field. It's really interesting. But, uh, yeah, I'll link this, too. I just like looking at this stuff, you know. Potter's Field. Right on, right off of the uh, Bronx. Right there in New York. Interesting. And we'll get back to the baseball thing, because that's interesting, too. 162 years. The number of games in a baseball season is when this church was built. Oh, man. Craziest stuff, you guys. But there it is. Seek Jesus, I'm telling you, you don't need a church. You don't need a picture and an image. You need him and him alone. And everything else will fall into place. So, do that. Shabbat shalom to y'all. Peace and grace. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 